So in this video, we're going to find the shaded area that is trapped between y equals 2x squared and y equals 10x. So this shaded area here. Now, in order to tackle this type of problem, what you need to look for first, if you're not given them, is where the two graphs intersect. So we need to work out this point here, OK, before we continue. So to do that, I'm going to put the curve, y equals 2x squared, equal to the line, y equals 10x. So 2x squared is equal to 10x. Now, I'm going to divide through by 2 and move everything onto the left-hand side. So I'm going to get x squared take away 5x is equal to 0. Now, that quadratic can be factorised. So x, x take away 5 is equal to 0. So that's telling me that x is 0 or x is 5. So the two points of intersection are at 0, so at the origin, and here at 5. OK. Now, because that x value is 5, this point here must have coordinates of 5 and then 50. So 5 going into that, 10 lots of 5 is 50. So that's 50 there. OK. So... We know that integration allows me to find the area between the curve and the x-axis. So if I was to find the integral of 2x squared between 0 and 5, what that would do is it would give me all of this section. Okay, So this section here underneath the graph but between the x-axis, between the curve and the x-axis. Now, what we need to do to work out the shaded area is subtract that away from the area of the triangle. Now, you can work out the area of the triangle in two ways. Either you do half base times height, which is going to be the easier way, or you can integrate the line between 0 and 5. That will give you precisely the same result. But for these types of problems, you should be looking out for triangles, rectangles, and then utilising that. It's a lot quicker. So I'm going to work out the area of the triangle, which is going to be 1 half times the base, which is 5, times by the height, which is 50. And then I'm going to take away the integral between 0 and 5 of the curve 2x squared dx. OK, so that will leave me the shaded area that I want. So if you're a little bit puzzled as to why we're taking it away, just recognise that that is the area of the triangle. This is the area underneath the curve, so all that area there, OK, which I'm going to take away from the area of the triangle. OK, so we have... Uh, 0.5 times 5 times 50, so 125. Take away, now add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so 2x cubed over 3, evaluated between 0 and 5. So 125 take away, now I'm going to open up a big bracket to include the evaluation of this, just so I don't kind of get minus signs mixed up. So substituting in 5, we're going to get two lots of 5 cubed divided by 3. So that's 250 over 3. And then substituting 0, I'm going to get 0. So that's what I'm taking away. So we have 125 take away 250 over 3. And that is itself 125 over 3. Okay, so that is the exact shaded area that we needed.